Hello everyone, George here, and as you can see, we are back on F1 Clash as usual. Today, we are gonna be playing the final round of the Australian Grand Prix, and uh, yeah, this Grand Prix is literally the best Grand Prix I have ever had on this game. For this one, we're gonna be using Mick at level 11, he's maxed level now. And we're gonna be using Kimi at level 10. As for my tune, I'm basically gonna be using my main tune, but with, um, uh, like, let's say another version of it. We're gonna be using the clamp instead of the slow motion, even though that slow motion does give plus three on arrow and reliability. Um, I already played my first five races, looking great so far. We have 231 points out of 235. Um, we lost four points, unfortunately. Um, there is those moments when AI cars on the game enter God mode and literally decide to go a full race on soft tires and basically um, they're monsters in defending and you cannot overtake them so we lost four points unfortunately and let's carry on all right so first race is gonna be around um, Monza um, hopefully we get a decent qualifying round at least I'm 100% sure that this is a real player because um, we found a match um, um, just like <laughs> so fast so it is gonna be a real player decent quality here p6 for Mick but we are down in p14 with Kimi Raikkonen so for Kimi I'm gonna be using the Oud 100% and for Mick let's go with the Gladiator I'm thinking uh, yeah yeah let's go with Gladiator it is our best options for this race um, hopefully my rev all right hold on uh, I'm pretty sure this was a real player all right so I guess he swiped and basically he got us uh, hopefully it is gonna be a 47 points all right it, it is a decent start from both of my drivers Mick is currently up to p3 and Kimi is up to p9 we're gonna be going for 3-2-3, three, three, as I always prefer to go for uh, my boost phase on the middle stint. So we're gonna be conserving for two laps now. We're gonna boost the third, um, boost for two more laps, and then uh, depends on how we are uh, doing in the race, if we conserve for the end or if we go on more boosting. Um, Perez in front of us, I believe this is Perez, uh, he's on soft tires, so he's just gonna be slowing us down and uh, He's not even overtaking cars on hard tires in front of him. So that is gonna be a bit of a problem for us So let's boost make from this point All right, we're gonna be boosting Kimi around the final corner All right, we're gonna boost him now um, I believe all the cars in front now are on um, hard tires. So as you can see, Kimi is just overtaking them easily. Um, we are up into P2. Um, the McLaren car stayed out for an extra lap. And he's on soft tires as well. Yeah, he is. He is on softs. I, I don't know why he stayed out. Basically, AI cars around Monza, they don't go... Um, zero tires unless it is the final stint of three laps so now I'm on my boost phase we're gonna boost for two laps and go back to pit the reason I decided to use the Oud for Kimi is because it gives five pit time stop so basically um, with your strongest tune you're gonna be having um, the pit time stop of a fast pit time tune so I believe all the cars in front are on hard tires and we should get a 47 easily. 
All right, so indeed the cars, I believe the cars in front are all on hard tires. So we're up into P3 now. All right, we're gonna be pitting at the end of this one with Kimi. He's up into P2 and let's just create that distance between Kimi Raikkonen and the Mercedes car behind. And hopefully we can get um, two more 47s in the two upcoming races because to be honest I believe we have a shot on getting a podium uh, I'm not really sure we're gonna be getting um, P1 because there is a lot of big fish in my group but hopefully we can like score perfect and let's see where we can finish all right so we're just gonna cruise now and I believe unless we get a crash uh, then it is gonna be a 47 I don't think even a breakdown is gonna affect the result of our race um, because basically all the cars behind us are on hard tires and basically the oud um, even if you have a breakdown even if you get a breakdown uh, it is gonna be around like three maybe four seconds maximum so we're just cruising now one more lap to finish and it looks like it is gonna be a 47 points. And one thing I'm worried about is that the final race of the Grand Prix is gonna be on Australia as well. And it is gonna be a 100% wet race. So for that race only, I'm gonna be using uh, George Russell at level 10 and Lewis Hamilton at level six because basically they are the best what drivers I got in my roster. Both of them have um, more than 100 something wet weather ability. So we're just about to cross the finish line here with Mick. It is gonna be P1 for Mick and Kimi is around the final corner here. And that's 47 points for us. On to the next race. All right, next up we have the same rival so um, it's gonna be on Bahrain it is gonna be a dry race but if this guy is playing the race now that means he did swipe the first one um, let's first see our qualifying session here um, Bahrain is always a difficult race for me to be honest it is gonna be p5 for Kimi and p12 uh, p5 for Mick sorry and p12 for Kimi so we're gonna be using Oud for Kimi as well. And we're gonna go for Gladiator, I believe. Uh, yeah, let's go for Gladiator. These two boosts are my best options for this Grand Prix. So hopefully we can get a clean getaway and that we have at least a decent amount of cars on hard tires. All right, so the leaders of the race, like basically, uh, they are all on hard tires Terrible start from Mick. He was already up into P4, but lost those positions again. He's down into P7 All right, he's up into P6 again, and there it is. Yeah, there it is man As you can see the rival is just like he's he's like overtaking the car He's forcing his car between every single car. So let's just keep defending here and I believe this is Alonso in front of us and every time around Bahrain I see Fernando Alonso in front of me um, it is gonna be a hell of a race 100% because uh, yeah he's just so OP in defending and you can just see like he is on hard tires and Kimi Raikkonen is on softs and he's just he's not going for the overtake I don't know why. All right, come on, Kimi. Mick is already up, and we lost another position, man. Uh, this is this is ridiculous, honestly. All right, we're gonna be boosting the third lap now. I'm going for three, two, three again. All right, let's boost from here with Kimi. Uh, yeah, being stuck behind the rival is gonna hurt us. Oh, come on. 
I, I, we have a decent amount of cars in front. All right, we overtook the rival here, but I need Kimi to overtake Alonso here. All right, he finally did it. And you can just see, like, we can overtake every single car on hard tires easily, except for Fernando Alonso. Uh, Mick is in pits at the moment. He's going to be up. He's out in P3. Every single car in front is on hard tires. So, basically, we should get... P1 and P2 and we are back again behind Fernando Alonso um, oh my god man yeah this is silly this is silly just look at this this is honestly so silly bro no matter what you do he's not going for the overtake just look at that this is a car on hard tires in front of us and we can't overtake him for some reason. Look at him. He's just he's closing the door every single time and we just overtook him because he's going to pit. And we overtake every other car easily. So we're going to be pitting at the end of this one. We have three cars on hard tires between uh, Mick and Kimi. Come on. Oh my god, like, bro, this is, this makes you feel angry, honestly. Alright, let's cut down with Mick, um, in case um, those AI cars catches him, um, he's just gonna slow them down. And now I have to, I have to abuse the boost button here, because Charles, AI Charles is way ahead of us and I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull this out just look at this Kimi is still stuck he's, he's, he's not doing anything in this race man all right we're up into p4 um there is like seven seconds between me and Leclerc in front all right we're gonna keep the boost up Uh, I, I need to boost again. I definitely need to boost again. The moment we overtake um, Leclerc, we can start conserving. But until then, I have to keep boosting. And we might, we just might. All right, let's cut down here. We might reach the finish line because 20, we have 23% tires left. And the, like, the temperature is nearly 30 degrees. And around this track, your drivers burn a lot of tires. Unfortunately, I just, uh, like, I saw in front we overtook the rival. And this is something I never want to do. Because basically you just ruin your rival's race when you overtake him. Or when you lap him. So... Kimi is on the final straight here. And it is gonna be a 1-2 for us, another 47. Um, yeah, after seeing such race, 47 points seemed impossible, but uh, we've done it. I don't know how, but we've done it. On to the final race. Right, for this final race, it is gonna be on Australia again, but this time it is a 100% wet race. So I'm using Hamilton level 6 and Russell at level 10 and hopefully we can pull not a great qualifying session but at least a decent qualifying session all right the good thing is we out qualified our rival it is gonna be p4 and p5 for us and I might go for a one-stop strategy we're gonna use the Toros for Hamilton and the Oud for George Russell here and I'm not really sure whether I want to go for um, a split strategy or the same strategy for both of my drivers. Um, basically, I think I'm going to be going for five laps with Hamilton and then three and four, four with Russell. Um, let's just see how it goes. So I need a clean start here. All right, inside, inside. All right, it's looking good. All right, we're, we're currently up into P3 and P4. 
and I do need, we need to gain one more position in this first stint. So let's just let Russell go by. All right, and he's up into P2, all right? This is something I didn't expect here. So let's just keep supporting both of my drivers here. We don't wanna lose any position because I do need 47 points here to get like to, to top the leaderboard of the Grand Prix. We are currently with 46 points, we're gonna be P2. Uh, we're gonna be tied for the lead, but with tiebreaker, I'm gonna be P2. So I do need to get 47 points on this one. All right, so race is looking good. Russell is gonna get the lead of the race 100% because we're using the Oud. It is a matter of whether the AI cars are gonna be going for three laps or four laps. If the AI cars go for three laps, then they are gonna pit again, which is gonna give me the lead of the race 100%. And the Tauros is a great boost as well. It gives you five tire management. Um, Russell, I believe he's he's currently at the gearbox of Max Ver of. I'm not sure if this is Verstappen. I believe this is Perez. All right, so we're gonna go for one extra lap with both of my drivers. Uh, should I go for two extra laps with Hamilton? Not really. All right, I'm gonna pit with both of my drivers at the end of this one because we are on full boost. We have a decent amount of tires and we should be out in the lead of the race or at least P1 and P3. Maybe Perez is gonna catch up to Lewis Hamilton. Russell is gonna be in and out easily. It should be around two point something. All right, it is 2.5 pit time stop. All right, come on, Hamilton. All right, so we jumped AI Hamilton here, and it's just a matter of catching Perez. And Perez has to pit again. So we're just gonna keep the boost up, and when Perez does go to pit, we are just gonna start conserving and defend. All right, come on, Hamilton, inside, all right. All right, come on, Hamilton. I, I do need him to overtake Perez here. Um, Perez has a very, very high wet weather ability. Inside, all right, there you go. There you go, Lewis. All right, let's start conserving now. And I believe Perez is gonna pit at the end of this lap as well. So first of all, we, we're saving fuel and we're saving tires. And this is gonna be a one to 100%. Hopefully, hopefully, I don't get a breakdown. And for the first time in my life, I do hope that um, every contender in my group for this Grand Prix gets a breakdown in his final race because basically it is a breakdown and a wet race, which is gonna give us a podium at least, or we might keep P1. Um, my rival is literally behind us here, but he has to pit again with his Kimi Raikkonen. I'm not really sure why he went, um, why he went to pit at the start of the final lap. He's gonna lose so many positions. And this is a 47 points for us. I believe this is a new high score as well. We should be around 372 points because we scored perfect in all of our races except those two um, where we lost two points on the first race in Australia and two points around Red Bull Ring. So there it is. It is a 47 points here, a new personal best. And let's see where we are now. All right, so we are currently in P1 with 372 points. Um, honestly, I'm so happy with our results this week. I'm getting Mick up to level uh, 11, paid off. Um, it, it is raining 47s for me this weekend. Unfortunately, we lost four points, but uh, it is what it is after all. Um, we're getting there. 
we're gonna get P1 someday, but it's just not this weekend, I believe. So let me know down in the comments how you did in your final round and this is gonna be it. I'll see you tomorrow for the rewards video. Take care and peace.